you know, you gave me 30 seconds and I need a lot more than that. But um, the thing is, uh, it, it comes down to having the courage to make the decision to change your identity. Okay. And, and what I mean by that is, is you know, have, have you ever heard of, of uh, Manson's law of avoidance? Manson's law yeah. of avoidance says that the more something threatens your identity, the more you avoid it. Right. So that means the more something threatens uh, to change how you view yourself, how successful or unsuccessful uh, you believe yourself to be, how well you see yourself living up to the values, your own values, the more you avoid ever getting around to doing anything to ever change that perception. And that's because there's comfort in knowing how you fit in with how you've set yourself up in your own little world, how you think you're perceived and anything that shakes that up, anything that shakes up that comfort, even if it can potentially make your life better is scary. Uh, and our reptile brain protects us from, from scary things. You know, we're afraid of, of success for the exact same reason we're afraid of failure because it threatens the status quo, right? And we're yeah. comfortable with the status quo. Even if it sucks, we're, we're comfortable with the status quo. And I can guarantee you that you know, without asking for a, a raising of a show of hands from, from the group, I can guarantee you that a majority of them out there, they work seven days a week. They get up at, at, at five in the morning. They work in the office till midnight. They're the ones who do that particular thing because they think they're the only ones who know how to do it best. And, it, and it's killing you. It, it, it's, but it's the status quo that you know. And it's your identity. It's what lawyers do, right? We're hesitant to fix what we think is not broken. Um, but the fact of the matter is you have to get out of that comfort zone. You have to be willing to give your identity a dope slap if this is what you want to do. You know, everybody is listening to the both of you. You are dynamic. You are exciting. Okay. You, you are saying things that everyone is sitting at their desk, nodding knowingly going, wow, that sounds good. That makes sense. I got to do that. But when this is over at the end of the day. Life goes back to the phone ringing. Life goes back to your secretary coming in or your paralegal coming in or your associate coming in. Whatever fire is burning and you're back, you're back to that identity. You're back to that person. You know, but if you want to, if, if everyone out there listening, if you want to get involved in this, you got to shake up your own world. You have to be open to considering new ideas. Right? I didn't know I wanted this until I did. I didn't know I had the <laughs> determination to do this until I did. Right? I didn't know I had the desire to do this until I did. My identity changed. My professional outlook changed. My prosperity changed when I came to uh, understand and accept the premise that I'm a business owner. I'm not a lawyer. Yeah, I'm a lawyer, right? but I'm a business owner. I got to run this, this joint like a, like a business. And that's what you guys offer. Okay. And that's what you offered me independent of each other. You guys just merged. I discovered both of you guys independently of each other. That's, I found Andy first and it, 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 it changed my world. Saw you, Bill, you rocked my world. You know, what, what, what Andy is to marketing, Bill is to business. Uh, and, and I, you know, I went from having a $400,000 gross business year after year after year to have been close a million bucks this year in my first year of doing this, you know? But it, it comes from- Round of applause for David Buckley, everyone, on that. You gotta be committed. You gotta be committed.